Hey everybody, Luke here again, and we're still on the topic of vertigo, and I've just made a few different videos about testing for the most common type of vertigo, which is the vertigo in these posterior canals, we call them, and the test we went over with that was the Dix-Hall Pike. So if you've already watched those videos, it's a good lead into this one, and basically on the last two videos with the Dix-Hall Pike and then the Epley Maneuver for treating that type of vertigo, I talked about making sure that you know which canal you're in, and the most common one is that posterior. So we test it with the Dix Hall Pike, we treat it with the Epley. If you notice or your, your helper notices that your eyes, instead of kind of rotating as they beat, as they tick, if they're more moving like side to side, more like a tick like that, it'll have a fast movement and a slow movement like that. If you notice that, most likely you have an issue in your horizontal canal, which is this way. So we're talking about the fluid in your inner ear. And so if you have little crystals loose in that spot that you need to clear, just you have to differentiate between the two. So the way that you test then for that is you look at your eyes, if you've done the Dix Hall Pike, which is where you wanna usually start, and you didn't get the rotational um, twisting movement of the eyes, but you got a side to side movement, the next thing you wanna test then to see which eye is involved is you wanna do what's called a roll test. We call it the supine roll test. You really don't have to roll, um, but you do have to turn your head. So the way you're gonna test for it, I'm just gonna show you and then I'll explain to you what it means. So you're just gonna start sitting up on your bed, legs out in front of you. And the first thing you'll do is you're just gonna lay back with your head flat. So if you had a pillow, that's great. You're just gonna lay flat. From here, turn your head to one side, say the left side, and then see what happens. If you get the sensation of vertigo, and if you see your eyes beating side to side, then you're having issues with the horizontal canal. Um, if you tested this side and it was no problem, go back to the middle wait for a little while and then turn to the right. So if you turn to the right and then you have the, the sensation of vertigo and you have that side to side beating of your eyes, then you know you have a problem within your inner ear canals. Um, the tricky part is, and you would think it'd be nice and easy, if you turn your head to the left, you would think that's your left side. If you turn your head to the right, you would think that's your right side. Uh, unfortunately, it's not that easy to interpret. So you have to look at the direction your eyes are beating towards. So you look at the, in terms of establishing the direction your eyes are beating towards, you're looking for the fast phase. So usually what it'll look like is your eyes will go fast to the one side, like it's beating towards one side and then it kind of goes slow on the recoil. Um, so basically, like if I, lay, if I turn to the left side and my eyes were beating down towards my left side, that would indicate my left inner ear was involved if the left side was where I got the majority of my vertigo. Um, if I was laying on my left side, so let's say I tested the left side and right side, and the left side is worse, because usually even if it's one side, you'll still feel the vertigo on both, on both positions, left and right. It's just one side will feel much, more, much stronger. So let's say, again, I'm laying on, I turn to the left side, and that's where I get the most vertigo. My eyes are going crazy like that. If it's beating down towards the left side, like down towards the earth, then that is indicative of my left ear. If it's beating up towards my right ear, then that indicates that I have a problem with my right horizontal canal. Um, so that's how you that's how you differentiate. I don't think I'm gonna make a video telling you how to treat that because it's confusing. Um, I struggle with it myself once in a while. I'm getting better at it. Um, but there's different maneuvers and techniques you use depending on which side it is. Um, and I really, I don't wanna confuse people. There are some other good YouTube videos that I've looked at. Um, so if you're looking at self-treatment, you could, I guess you could check into those. But if not, I would just say find someone in your area who knows what they're doing so they can walk you through it. Because uh, otherwise you end up treating the wrong side, not feeling any better. And if you've had vertigo before, you know that just going through these motions sometimes makes you feel a lot worse because your inner ear is, you, every time you have your eyes flicking, or twisting or whatever it is, um, it just makes you start to fatigue up there. Um, so anyways, uh, uh, don't look out for a video for me how to treat it. Uh, you can probably find one on some other site. Um, if you have specific questions, leave them below. Um, but hopefully that at least helps you differentiate what's going on up there. And uh, if you have more questions, like I said, just be, uh, leave them below and um, hope this helps out. Thanks for watching.